I went to Costa Rica, which is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life with what some of the most beautiful people inside, outside, all of it. They are wonderful people. But when I went there, we didn't, I didn't stay at a university. I, this was a different kind of program. It was a tropical biodiversity program. I had a backpack. I had three pairs of pants and six shirts for four months. And we went to different research stations. We camped on an island. We were, we were trying, our purpose was to study the ecology of these different habitats, these different environments with different, with different climate patterns, things like that. One of the things I was really afraid of was that some of the most venomous snakes live in Costa Rica in the jungle. And I love the jungle. In fact, every, anytime I get a chance to vacation, I want to backpack through the jungle. It's just what I'm, I'm, I love. But I have to admit, I mean, I'm a biologist and I was formerly a terrestrial ecologist studying the ecology of land where these snakes lived. I was really terrified because they told us all these stories that if you step on one and we can't get you to the hospital, you could you lose your leg and get you to the hospital. There aren't cars. We hiked seven hours into where the station that we're staying at and the station is like a cabin with like planks and stuff so that you could put your sleeping bag on. Beautiful. I mean, we're in the jungle. It's gorgeous. And I learned so many wonderful things about tropical forest ecology and jungle ecology. But I was really scared. And so what did we do? We had the opportunity, and this was optional, to go on night hikes. And I was like, well different you want to go out at night because a different part of the forest is alive a different part of the jungle wherever because we would go to the dry forest we'd go in the jungle we went to the cloud forest we were staying in all the, we hiked to all these different places and stayed at stations in different places so i'd want to go on the night hikes every way every place i went but i was afraid and i wouldn't tell anybody that i was afraid of the snakes because they come out at night to forage they have to they need to eat and they said you know you have a headlamp that's all you have and you're carrying a backpack do not grab any of the branches because you could be grabbing a viper. You could be grabbing a snake. I was terrified that I would be the one to be walking at night and either step on a viper, grab one out because there are tree vipers. I mean, and they're the color of trees. Even still, though, it's, and it's hard to, and I didn't understand this until I went there. You don't know what darkness is until you're away from civilization. Away, hours away. There are no lights. One night, my headlamp went out. And I can hear my the people I'm with because we never went more than several feet away from each other, but I have to get to them. And 10 feet may not sound like very, it's just a few strides. 10 feet in a jungle that doesn't have a trail because one of us has a machete that we're cutting to get through. 10 feet with no light in a jungle that has venomous snakes that are minding their own business. I'm in their territory, so it's not their fault if I get in the way. I was, my whole body was covered in goosebumps. I was so sweaty and so scared that I was going to take a wrong step that I could barely breathe. And I thought, no more. I can't. If I make it to my friends without getting bitten, I mean, the odds of you being bitten, by the way, are very small, almost zero. It's kind of ridiculous now that I was so afraid. But I was like, no more night hikes for me. I cannot do this. I cannot be this scared. This is ridiculous. I made it my few feet. And then we were fine. And I thought, okay, I'm going to calm down. I'm going to calm down. I'm fine. And then something happened because I, I was resolved. I'm not going on any more night hikes. Our instructor that we were with said, okay, you guys, we just found the plants we were looking for. We were on this hike looking for one type of plant. It's a type of tree with a type of leaves, special broad leaves. Two things happened. He said, let me, and he's searching. He just is grabbing. He is not worried about snakes. And he lifts up a leaf and turns it over. And he says, everyone focus their light on this leaf. And it looked like slime. It looked like a puddle of slime with some dots in it. And then we looked closer and we saw, and I don't study amphibians, 
I think they're interesting, but I don't study them. It's something called a glass frog. It's a frog that's see-through. And what was it doing? It, it lays its eggs on, underneath, on the underside of a certain type of leaf, of a certain type of plant, over running water, but, it, but where its eggs have to drop. Because the tadpole, you know, the eggs will drop and the tadpoles will swim around because, you know, frogs have tadpoles. It couldn't be in the stream of the water because it would just take the tadpoles away. But it had to be near the stream because the nutrients come to this sort of still part. I mean, animals are so intelligent. It's amazing. I had never seen anything like this before. If I hadn't gone on this night hike, I wouldn't have seen it. So we saw this glass frog with all of its eggs that it was, it was watching over. And I, the fr it's, it's see-through. It's a see-through frog. And then, and so that all of us were mesmerized. Then later on that night hike, and then I thought, I was wavering. Maybe I will go on night hikes again. Then we went to another type of plant because this, this night we were looking for plants. These broad leaves of maybe 15 feet above our heads. Our instructor said, everybody focus their lights on the underside of these leaves. And then all at once, when I count to three, everyone turn off their lamps. We turned off the lamps and all the leaves on the underside were glowing bright green and so there was a fluorescent um, bacteria on the underside of these leaves I was terrified to go on some of these night hikes and after the beginning of that night I said no more I can't do this I'm scared what if I get bitten by a snake and then I saw those two things amongst a million other things I don't even I it would take me days to describe all the amazing things I saw in just four months. I was scared, but I'm so glad I did it. 